Hello everyone, my name is Sapan and I am here with my second video log. Science claims that humans were evolved out of simpler or smaller species and of course Hinduism and every other religion says humans were created by God. Of course Hinduism says that humans were created by God. But does it also try to validate evolutionism? You will surprise to know, yes. The first step of evolution says that from single cell organisms evolved organisms which could live completely in water, which were the fishes. And what's the first avatar of Vishnu? Matsavta, which was the fish. Then the theory of evolution says in the second step were organisms who could live both on land and water. And who is the second avatar of Vishnu? Kachapakta, which was the tortoise, which, which, which was used to churn the ocean, right? The third step of evolution says um, and, and an organism which could live completely on land. And what's the third avatar of Vishnu? Varavta, which is the boar, who could live completely on land. The fourth step of evolution says that first um, humanoid was created, which was kind of an ape man, which was partly human and partly ape. Now this does not really translate to any avatar of Vishnu, but it's kind of similar to the Narsim avatar, which was again a humanoid, half lion and half human. The next step of evolution says that humanoid converted into the first human prototype but it was not complete human because they were shorter in heights. And what's the next avatar of Vishnu? Vaman avatar, which was a complete human but was short in height. The next step of evolution says that humans were completely formed but they used to hunt for their food. They used to carry a weapon and they used to hunt animals or cut trees. And what's the next avatar of Vishnu? Parshuram, which literally translates to Ram with an axe. The next step of evolution says the man who was till now a hunter could live in a society with all the rules of the society. And what's the next avatar of Vishnu? Ram. The next step of evolution would be a modern man. A person who was not as simple or straight as Ram, but who could modify the rules of the society as per his needs, and which was Krishna. So, as I said, Hinduism definitely validates the theory of evolutionism. And if you want some more interesting tidbits or if you would like me to work on something and get those facts to you, do tell me and do subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.